डियर लर्नर माई सेल्फ पवन कुमार असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर आई टी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी नैनीताल टूडे टॉपिक इज सी एस एस इम्पोर्टेड सी एस एस कास्केरिंग रूल्स एंड ऑर्डर रूल्स सो द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इज सी एस एस हिस्ट्री वट इज सी एस एस हाउ टू एड सी एस एस सी एस एस सेंटैक्स सी एस एस सेलेक्टर्स सो फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस सी एस एस हिस्ट्री सी एस एस वॉज फर्स्ट परपोज बाई हैकन वेम लाई ऑन अक्टूबर टेन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फोर एट द टाइम लाई वॉज वर्किंग एट सन विद टिम बर्नल ली द फादर ऑफ कम एस टी एम एल द यूरोपियन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर न्यूक्लियर रिसर्च इज नोन एज सन हैकम वेम लाई इज नोन एज फादर ऑफ सी एस एस सो सी एस एस वॉज परपोज एज अ वेब स्टाइलिंग लैंग्वेज इन HTML4 problem. So, what is CSS? CSS stand for cascading style sheets. CSS so how HTML element should appear on screens or in other media files. In CSS files, external style sheets are kept. A lot of work is saved via CSS. It can manage the design of several web pages. simultaneously so how to add css a browser will format an html document in accordance with the information in style sheet when it reads one a style sheet can be inserted in one of three ways external css internal css inline css so here we discuss external css external styles are defined within the link elements inside the head section of an html page so with the exam with this example we understand external css so first we have doc type html tag after that html tag then head tag then in link rel relational so relation is equal to style sheets and h reference is equal to my style dot css then this after that the head tag is closed so on the body tag we describes h1 tag this is a heading tag and in p tag this is the content is this is a paragraph finally we close the para tag and also close the body tag and html tag so any text editor can be used to create an external style sheet but it must be saved with the dot css extension no html should tag should be seen in the external dot css file the my style dot css file look like this so in the body we describe background color so background color is here light blue and we terminate the line in next section we describe the header the color of header is navy and we then we terminate the line and the margin is left margin and we take here 20 pixel so this is the output of external css we see that the background color is light blue and the heading is in blue and the para is in black so next is internal css if only one html page has a unique style an internal style sheet might be employed the internal style sheet is specified in the head section in the style element so with the help of example we understand the internal css so first we take doc type html tag then html tag then head tag after that we in in style tag we de we define the body background color is blue and header tag and header section we describe the color color is maroon and margin left and it takes 50 pixels so we close the style and head 
after then we de- in body tag we describe the h1 and p in h1 section we take this is a heading and we close the h1 tag after that we describe p in p section this we take this is a paragraph and we close the p tag after that we close body and html tag so the output is like this the background color is blue next is inline css to apply a special style to just one element use an inline style add the style attribute to the appropriate elements to apply inline style any css property may be contained in the style attribute so with the help of example we better understand the inline css firstly we take doc type html tag then html tag then body tag in head tag we h1 style color we define the color blue then we terminate the line then text align left then we terminate this then finally we define this is a heading and we close the h1 tag in p we should take style style is color is pink and we define this is a paragraph we close the p tag and body tag and html tag so the output is the heading is in with blue color heading is blue color with text align left and the para is in blue color so we see that this is a para graph next is css syntax it is made of of two parts one is selector and second is declaration selector is h1 in this example we see that selector is h1 in declaration part we declared the color font size etc so here color is red we terminate the line color show the properties and red is the value similarly the next declaration is font size font size is 20 pixel so font size is property and 20 px pixel is value css syntax the html elements you want to style is indicated by the selector one or more declaration are contained in the declaration block and are separated by semicolons a comma separates the name of the css property from its value in each declaration so css selector there are various type of css selector the css element selector the css id selector the css class selector the css universal selector the css grouping selector so firstly we discuss the css element selector it is based on the element name the element selector chooses html elements here all p elements on the page will be center aligned have a red text so here we have a example p in p section text align is center and color is red so we see the code here we use doc type html tag then html tag then head tag in head tag we define the style tag so we take p with the properties of p is text align is center and color is red so we close the style tag head tag then we in body tag we sh- so we take p where p is this is a paragraph we close the p tag and body tag and html tag so the output of whole program is this is a paragraph we see that the paragraph is center line with red color next is the css id selector the id selector chooses a particular html element 
by using the id attributes the id selector is used to choose a single distinct element because each element id is distinct inside a page a hash character should be written after the id in order to select it here we take example hash para1 where in this section text align is center and color is red the html element with the id equal para1 will be subjected to the css rule listed below so with in this code we take doc tag html tag then html tag in the head tag we take style so hash para1 it have property text align is center and color is red so we close the style and head tag in the body we take tag p where id equal to para1 after that we take hello world and we close the p tag then p tag in in p tag we define this is not affected by the style and close the p tag then we close body tag and html tag so the output is the first line is this is a para which is in uh, red color and the next line is this paragraph is not affected by the style so we see that the color of this section uh, line is red and next line is not affected next is the css class selector in class selector html component having a specific class attribute are chosen using the class selector to select element with a specific class write a prior character followed by the class name so in this example we use the period character then center and the properties of center is text align center and color is red so the in this code we use the tag doc type html then html tag then head tag then style tag then we use center the property is text align is center and color red and we close the style and head in body tag we take h1 element class we define the class is centered and then we write uh, red and center line headings and we close the heading tag and after that we take p we define here class is centered and the content is red and center aligned paragraph then we close the body and html tag the output of this program is red and center line heading and next is red and center head aligned paragraph the next is the css universal selector all html elements on the page are selected by the global selector asterisk example we take asterisk and we define the property text align is centered and color is blue with the help of this code we define better define the universal selector in this firstly we take doc type html tag then html tag then head tag then style tag in style tag we take universal selector then we define text property text align is centered and color is blue so we close the style tag and head tag in body tag we define h1 tag in h1 tag we take hello world and we close the h1 tag in p tag every element on page will be affected by the style in next p id is equal to in this para1 and in, the, in this we take the content me tools so we close uh, the body tag and html tag so the output is all the elements are affected 
hello world is sentinel land every element on the page will be affected by the style and me too so we see that all the elements are all the tags are affected thank you